So this is um, a, a worksheet where you are to determine how many students to enroll in order to break even, meaning to just cover your expenses. Break even analysis is an analysis that uh, tries to find what would be the best or how much should I produce, for example, or sell of a product in order or sell of a service in order to break even to just cover my fixed and variable expenses. So that's exactly what we are going to do. We are going like to um, you like do the analysis and we are also going to, there is a formula for the break even, uh, for the break even analysis, for the, or for coming up with a break even point, which is the amount of product or the amount of the number of services or the number of students, for example, that I need like to uh, enroll or that I need like to serve in order to cover my variable and fixed expenses. The fixed expenses are expenses that do not change with your quantity. So if I serve 250 students or 500 students, my fixed expenses will remain the same. And looking at the items that are under fixed expenses, it's the salaries for the faculty. So I have five faculty, for example. I have to pay every single one of them irrespective of whether I have 250 or 500 students. And same thing, I'm in a building and I have to pay my rent every, every month and that, that that's, um, uh, will not change with the number of students that are enrolled. Same thing for the computers that I have. I've bought the computers, so they do not change. The fixed expenses are expenses are what we call capital expenses. Capital expenses, they are in, like you have to, um, you have to expend that amount irrespective of how many or uh, how, how, how high or how low the enrollment is. Variable expenses, on the other hand, change with the number that are enrolled. So if you enroll more students, then you have to buy more material. If, and the same thing, you have to offer more food. You have to buy more food to offer as for lunch, for example. And uh, again, if you are paying a commission uh, for the enrollment, then for every student, you will have to pay that, that commission. So that, that's the, the idea behind the calculation of the break even is coming up or identifying what is my fixed expenses, what are my variable expenses, and then run the analysis for different number of in, uh, student enrollment. So say, if I have 100 students, will I be able to cover all of my fixed expenses and variable expenses? If I have 200, if I have 300, if I have 400, 500, where is it? At what point will I be able to make a uh, profit? Because if you are not able to enroll at the break-even point, it doesn't make sense to continue doing business because you are losing. So th that's what we are going to do uh, today. First thing, they tell you to save it as PR7, ProCert City. Then they ask you um, to enter a formula to total the three fixed expenses and copy and then copy cell B13 through range, through the range uh, C13, G13. So I need to find the total for these. As we said, it's very simple. Just click on the sum and I get um, 66,000. And because these are fixed costs, then it really doesn't matter whether I have 100, 200, 300, or 500 students. So you want to copy the formula. And I 
want to paste the formula Okay, so you, you paste the values because you don't want like to sum in here you just want to sum the total fixed expenses so uh, for that one you just like after you hit the paste and you get empty values you just like choose paste values and that will paste the 66,000 in all of the cells then in cell C10 you want to enter a formula to reference cell B10 uh, using an absolute cell reference for B10 and then copy cell C10 through the range D10, G10. So for every one, you want to make it equal to the one before it, but use an absolute reference so that you are able to copy it. Now I don't have to actually if I now paste the formula to add these values they will be um, 66,000 Now in C16, you are multiplying the material by the number of students. So Now we have to ask ourselves a question, where are the variable expenses? They are in B16, B17, B18, uh, B18. So they are all in B. So you have to put a, a now a mixed reference and say, okay, multiply the B, but the 16 will be different, with the C5. Now the enrollments are in C5, C, uh, D5, E5, F5, and G5. So what's common is the 5, so I'm going to put a dollar sign after the 5, uh, before the 5. And now when I paste it across, I get for 200 students, uh, $10,000 for material. For the 300 students, it's 15000 For the 420000 and so on now. And I want to scroll down. And I want to make sure that it is correct. So if I have $5 uh, dollars for the food and I have 100 students, that's 500 if I have 200, that makes 1,000. If I have 300, it's 1,500. So everything looks fine. So the, 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 the whole point is, how do I write that first, uh, that first formula? And the question is, where are my variable expenses? They are in column B, B5, uh, B16, B17, B18. 
And where are my enrollments? They are in column C, um, I'm sorry, in row C, C5, D5, E5, F5, and G5. So you have to fix the row five, and in the expenses, you have to fix the column B. Your total variable expenses would be So we've calculated now my total expenses would be equal to my fixed expenses plus my variable expenses. And now you will do it for every single set of enrollment. My profit before tax would be equal to my revenues and and we have a two hundred and fifty dollar revenue per student so for hundred students just let's do the revenue so that would be equal to the two fifty multiplied by Because I the 250 is fixed for every single student, I'm going to put the formula that it is fixed. And the, the, for the enrollments, they are, as we said, in row 5, so I'm going to fix the row. Now my profit before taxes would be equal to my revenue minus my total expenses. So if I don't have any students, I have a 65,000, um, or if I have one student, my, my um, cost will be, my profit will be a negative 65,000. And I see up until, I have up, up until 300 students, I have a loss. Starting from 400, 400 I start making profit. So my break even is something in between 300 and 400. And that's what we are um, going to calculate. And that's the break-even point. The break-even point is equal to my fixed cost, which is uh, in B13, divided by my revenue, which is the B7, minus my variable cost. So it tells you that you need to enroll 377 students, uh, or like 378, to just break even. So your enrollment must be above 378 for you to be start making profit. And that's why the 400 shows a $4,000 profit. Okay, let us stop the recording and see if anyone